Can't hear. Can't hear. Maintain the alley behind Redwood uh, Drive and Mr. Kess, the only city that in the one was interested in the making city that the Montour quad made the difference with it. You need to get out and talk to your people, Tony. I had people coming to my house when they found out that I had a petition. Literally come to the house to sign. Well, there's 15 houses on the first road on Redwood, and there's 13 on uh, Wildwood. And I have all but one, and the only one I didn't get is we probably know why I didn't stop at her house. But they're all signed. And uh, I never went to any of the houses on the other side of Wildwood, but there's a uh, uh, total of 13 on uh, Redwood or Wildwood on the upper side. And up at Dogwood, there's only three houses on that one. So I have more than 51%. But, but both sides with access, and we still have to improve up that here. I have both sides of the alley that are like that alley. I have every one but one that's signed. Mr. Chairman, can I address that? Dave, uh, me and Elizabeth went up there maybe a couple weeks after that meeting and we drove through that. Um, with my knowledge of road construction, that first of all, we would have to strip all the vegetation off of there, put in a stone base, and then we got up to a couple areas that alleyway, and uh, I wouldn't feel too confident that uh, some of them uh, hillside and banquets give away on the low side in houses and in yards. Get out of here. You know what happened there, don't you? You know, no, they, put, you put, they put a sewer line through there. That's what happened. Yeah. Well, when they took the when they took the, the dirt out of there, they put the stone in there and took all the stone off the top, got rid of all that, and backfilled it with dirt. It, it's hard to maintain right now the conditions that being a grass pathway to be. I mean, well, uh, it is right now. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to be. Maintain. There used to be a, a base to that road until they came through there. What type of base? It was a stone base. But when they, like I said, when they come through with the sewers, they scraped it all off of there. Everything was gone. I mean, they, they killed the, the pine trees on my uh, property. They had to come out there and cut them down because they all died. One fell, hit, hit my garage. I'm you telling you. have to grade it, I believe. Well, Don asked me what, what we wanted. I don't want anything less than what they did to the alley up above. That's what I want. I'd say we would have to grade the vegetation off, you know, a couple of inches anyway, and then put you back into a two-way stone or something. Like I don't care how they do it. I mean, they're, they're, it. they're going to have to grade it so the water doesn't slope down into my yard on the lower lots. Are you okay with tar and chip? Or if we put a stone base? <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> hey, I don't care. You think plow the other one? I want that one plow too in the winter. I am not, I'm not asking for any more than anybody else gets. And, <laughs> so I mean, you guys are killing these roads out here. Put some weight limit signs on the roads. It's not as simple as that. Well, I'll tell you what, you got a weight limit sign on your bridge down the Ridgewood Heights. You got a nine ton. You got, and it's 13, 13 ton combined. The only other one that I saw had a weight limit on it is one over where Spinoza's was. That one is rickety, it's falling apart, it's five ton. Gone. You bring a salt truck over there, you're overweight. You take a salt truck over there, you're over five times. You bring a pickup truck with a load on it, you're overweight. You people don't enforce them anyway, so, you know, come on. You're talking about bridges or roads? There's bridges a and roads. Well, the roads are collapsing. And you know why they are. You bring all this heavy equipment on these doggone roads and you crumble them. They're caving in, they're going over the hills down in the crypts. Who do you think brought that? <laughs> Too much weight on these roads. They're crushing them. But you guys need to get out and look at these roads. You're waiting for you're waiting for the gas company to come save you. It ain't gonna happen. The gas company never saves you. Oh, they do a lot of work on on a lot of roads in different areas. Yeah, just just overlays. You saw what they did on uh, Burnside Road. Well, yeah, look at that. You got water laying. They, they, they paint that road. It looks like a swamp there. 
Yeah, that's exactly. He talked about the, the road down at home. Well, one second, I, I just want something to explain. Dan, would you explain the procedure for putting a weight limit on a road? Yeah, there's a. You actually have to have a, an engineering study behind uh, a weight restriction so that it could be enforced as an ordinance. So. There's different ways to do it. You can go out and either look at the road from a oh, geometric so standpoint, a, school bus at look at it. a geometric standpoint. In other words, it's got bends and twists that makes it un unsafe. Very simply put, and then from a structural standpoint, like the resident is referring to, you have to core the road, determine how thick the pavement is and the base and everything, come up with a structural number, rate the road, and then determine. Bridges do. The bridges are already inspected. Bridges are in shape. Yeah. Well, who, who knows those? State. The township bridges. State. Well then, well then they don't have a lot of posted here. Anything over 20 feet in width, clear span, is considered a bridge. It's on our NBIS program. That's 20 feet you want dumb kids width. in school? 20 feet in width, clear span. Span is 20 feet. Blank. Drive. Uh, yes, left, right. But Dave, I just want you to understand, it's not a matter of hiding a sign that's been planted a slow, uh, slow down sign. It's, you can't plant uh, weight of the signs on roads. Just well, how, how do you enforce it, though? How would you enforce it? How, how, do, you, how do you enforce your, the bridge that runs across uh, your plan? Well, who, who, who stops anybody? No, nobody does. You're right, nobody does. does. The police catch it, they can stop it. How are they going to weigh the truck? Well, they can call the state uh, bureau, they can come, come out and weigh it. They've done that on some well, more roads. They'd be pulling yeah. over the township then. They'd pulling over the township trucks. Yeah. 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 One specific. Yeah. The state, the state police guy. No. Cannonsburg police officer. Yeah. Some yeah. You're making a fortune. Dave, okay, the Spinoza Bridge, the one you're referring to, that's, that's, that's county bridge. That's a county bridge. That's actually being. That's already been left for a bit. That'll be replaced this summer. I know. I know they're working on it. The Lottie Road Bridge and the Glass Hill Road Bridge are also county bridges in Caesar County. So those you may think they're both. Those are those are county bridges. All right, Dave still has the floor, please. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's all. Right. No, I mean just for clarification. I, I, so you know. All right, Dave, would you give that test over here? Sure. I got copies of these. <laughs> When can I see anybody up in the area? Wait, he'll, he'll get this uh, circle. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Dave. Anybody else have a general comment, general question? Yes, sir.